Bazinga punks, and welcome back with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is season 8, episode 19. Last time we had a really sweet dinner at Howard's, eating up all the food Mrs. Wallowitz cooked because it was thawing with the power out. It was really, really sweet. Almost ruined by the fight that Sheldon and Leonard were having about Leonard not getting any credit for his and Sheldon's work together. Thankfully, that was resolved as well at the end of the episode. But all right, getting close to the end of season eight here. Full reaction's gonna be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and let's get started. I've been working on an opening joke for our lecture at Berkeley. Uh oh. I like to laugh. This is gonna bomb. Say it anyway. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what do you say to a graduate of the UC Berkeley Physics Department? Oh no. I'll have fries with that. <laughs> Don't insult them. Are you all set for your trip? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I just Ugh. restocked the old PRK. PRK? Public restroom kit. <laughs> oh. Toilet paper and Purell. Keep going. And what else do you have? Rubber gloves, uh, air freshener, um, noise canceling headphones. Oh, danger whistle. Um, danger whistle? Pepper, a clothespin for my nose. Whoa. Oh, and a mirror on a stick so I can make sure the person in the stall next to me isn't some kind of weirdo. But, but, you're the weirdo. Would you like to play a physics car game I invented called I Can't Spy? It's all the nail wow. biting tint. If it's half as much fun as one times ten to the fourth bottles of beer on the wall, I'm in. <laughs> fun. Again, something passing right through us. That soy frappuccino I had. <laughs> <laughs> Will you please play the game? Given the surface area of this car is about 60,000 square centimeters, that means 3.9 times 10 to the 15th solar neutrinos? Was he right? I won't play anymore. Oh my god. He was right. <laughs> I've been on a road trip in a while. This is fun. We get it. You won the game. Stop bragging. <laughs> oh, listen, uh. we wrote a paper together. Now we get to go to a university and talk about it. That's pretty cool. Aww. I suppose it is. If you'd like to celebrate with a little music, I'd be okay with that. What music did you put what? in? What? Play that funky music, white boy. <laughs> I'm surprised you know that reference. What reference? What reference? <laughs> I can't tell if he's being sarcastic or if he just no idea. Can I be in charge of pricing? I've been going to garage sales my whole life. Can you believe I've right. candy holes for a nickel? Yes. <laughs> all right, Amy's in charge of pricing and being 75. <laughs> I used to play all the time. Oh yeah, I love ping pong. Oh, I Competitive. Ping pong. Oh. I had a table too, but I didn't have any friends, so all I did was serve. Only serving. Excuse me. Why is there a sticker on this? It's my TARDIS from Doctor Who. I was planning on moving it in the house. Uh, no you're not. You just answered your own question. <laughs> one day this may double in value and be worth half what I paid for it. Half? Half? As long as you're keeping an open mind. Of course. Uh, of course not. Another one. <laughs> Bernie. Now he understands the reference. They're requesting that the white boy play the funky music, yes? Yes. Yes. Let me ask you this. Oh my god. Do you think this song is the music the white boy ultimately plays? <laughs> it's like the musical equivalent of Russell's Paradox. The question of whether the set of all sets that don't contain themselves as members contains itself. Exactly. Well, then, I hate it. Music should just be fun. <laughs> Okay. Aren't you worried that sitting in the lobby for a long period of time might attract the attention of the hotel detective? <laughs> the what? We, we won't be very far from Skywalker Ranch. Ooh. Well, it's true. Time it's to go. Like we can get in there. We can Why break not? in. I, I don't think George Lucas put his headquarters in the middle of nowhere because he wanted people dropping in. Yoda's swamp was in the middle of nowhere. That's code, Leonard. He wants us to drop in. <laughs> He said so time, with such a serious just face. Drive by and just look at it. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. They're going to be late, aren't they? I just can't hide it. <laughs> well, I have a song for you. We're still figuring how much remodeling we want to do. It's tricky finding the right balance between tasteful modern and Jewish mother tchotchke crap fest. <laughs> have you made a decision about the TARDIS? We're not selling it. It's mine. You can't just decide. How about I arm wrestle you? That's not fair. You'll win. Like, you could play ping pong for it. I would do that. You would? How is that fair? You grew up with a table. I will play on your behalf and send that TARDIS back to Gallifrey, where I hate that I know it belongs. Gallifrey? Yes, penny plays for me. 
That's not fair. She has upper body muscles. <laughs> Three times Sanskriti school for well-born boys badminton champion? That's oh, God. Right. Raj can play for me. It's like we're reenacting the ancient German practice of trial by combat. <laughs> and it's also like when the mountain fought the red viper in Game of Thrones. Yeah. And makes you watch that too? No, no, I like that show. It's just a gate on a road. Yeah. It wasn't even that hard to find. This is so yeah! <sighs> I want to go in. Well, so do I, but they'll never let us. Who's they? Is that the attitude that helped you get Penny? Uh, no, but I don't I have guess to not. make that gate feel sorry for me. There's a speaker box. Okay, yeah. What's the worst what that could happen? I'm a little nervous. Well, get over it. Mm -hmm. Confidence is key in these situations. Right. Use the force. <laughs> what shit are you out of your mind? <laughs> we're, we're like crazy big fans. I mean, I, 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 not crazy. crazy. For Star Wars, crazy. Not be crazy like we have a backpack full of duct tape. Although we do have a backpack that you really oh my don't want to look in. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is going horribly. The speaker's not working. Just pull up. Wow. Lucked out. And that's how it's done. Yeah, sure. We've defeated the first challenge. Use the force. Now we must steel ourselves to face the monster who defends the gate. Just the security guy. I'm trying to get. I'm just gonna be honest with the guy. Honesty will never get us in. Well, what's your plan? All right. Lie. My plan is. We don't have an appointment. We're we're just fans of Mr. Lucas's work, and we thought we'd take a shot and see if we could get in and look around. Sorry, guys, we get this a lot. Can't let you in. A recording session I must attend. <laughs> Not convincing. I'm sorry. Got some hats and t-shirts I can give you. Really? Thank you so much. No, that's better than See? nothing. Maybe honesty is the best. Oh, God, he's, he's making a break for it. The yoke of my oppressors. Code AA23. AA23. Uh. Copy. I can see the ranch, Leonard. Oh, it's rustic. It's lovely. I'd take a picture, but people are chasing me. <laughs> <laughs> No, you're not. They have tasers. They, they wouldn't dare use. Ah! <laughs> you are the King Kong of ping pong. Okay, you man. You're the menace of table tennis. This is probably more distracting Put than anything. Away. Hey, Raj. Uh oh. If Howard can't keep the TARDIS, how great would it look at your place? Uh oh. What? Yeah, what? <laughs> Ooh. I don't know much about Doctor. Don't listen to her. You and I go way back. We're like brothers. We are. We are. Whoops. Mm. Oh no, what a terrible soul. <laughs> oh no. Amy, were you serious about being able to serve? <sighs> oh, it's only it's serving. Been a long time. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> what the heck? Wow. She's my champion. Well, if you can switch champions, so can I. I'm oh. a Raj. Hey. Oh my god. Oh, come on, like you even care? Well, I care. N no, you don't. No, I don't. Good luck, Raj. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, I thought our uh. friendship meant more to you. So did I. <laughs> so did I. Are we gonna be late? Who's this weirdo? Maybe they'll call Imperial officers to take us to a holding cell on the Death Star. Oh, I think that's below the pay grade of an Imperial officer. <laughs> now who doesn't have any whimsy? Shut up. Stormtroopers actually combine both the function of infantry and military police. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, I'm normally very nice, but you shut up too. <laughs> I hopped a fence and they caught me in the sculpture gallery making out with a Chewbacca statue. Oh, okay. I, I, I don't think you want to be friends with this guy. Get out of here. Exit conversation. You'd like to they go? a sculpture gallery. That was what he was focusing on? You have to take your picture, post oh. it at the guard gate. Uh, one question about that picture. Can it be with George Lucas? No. When this started, I was going to put the TARDIS in a discreet corner of the house, but I've since turned mean, and now it's going right in the middle of the living room on a rotating platform with a sign that says, Suck it. Game on! Ooh, that serve is unreturnable. Uh, her serve was pretty good. Come on, get in her head. Be intimidating. Okay, uh, I'm gonna own you, bitch! Whoa! Too far, too far. <laughs> One zero. He can't even react. Two. That's Nothing. ridiculous. All she's got is a serve. That's now probably true. Put her away. God damn. Where's the and trash talk from? What? She just stood there. Three, five. Four, five. Uh. Five, five. Six. <laughs> Seven. 
Oh. Eight. Nine. And deuce. You know, Amy. Oh, I, uh, stop, Bernadette. I can't help but wonder how Sheldon would react if the TARDIS was at your place. <sighs> if this doesn't get him into your bedroom, nothing will. <laughs> well, damn. Are you still mad at me? Yes. <laughs> you missed our lecture. We were almost arrested. I think that you're sucks. looking at this all wrong. Fine, what? Then tell me how I should be looking at it. You got to watch someone shoot me with a taser. <laughs> that was pretty cool. That part was pretty good. <laughs> Did flop around a lot. Uh, <laughs> he's taking so much joy out of that. You know, when they were escorting us to the detaining room, I looked through a door and I'm pretty sure I saw a display case with the Ark of the Covenant. <laughs> wow. That's amazing. <laughs> I, I guess this could count as an adventure. It, it was. was. And even though we're not allowed back there, <laughs> they can never take today away from us. Unlike my sense of smell, which hasn't returned since the tasing. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> but your science careers, you're the lecture. Oh no. The Daleks are right on my tail. Quick, we need to reset the time circuits. Oh no, <sighs> I left my sonic screwdriver behind. He just wants to play pretend. <laughs> oh. Really should have thought this through. <laughs> Ace! 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 This episode was so silly. Sheldon and Leonard were detained and missed the lecture they were supposed to give about their paper. Hope that wasn't a big missed opportunity for their career, but I think Leonard would have been angrier if it was. And we didn't actually get to see any of the Star Wars ranch, but it was funny hearing about it. They were so anxious and excited and Sheldon made a break for it. Normally he's such a stickler for the rules, like not buying scalped Comic Con tickets, but I guess if it's a big enough deal, no risk it, no biscuit got tased in his moment of glory. Glad they were let go with a warning, but oh my god, the other guy that was there made out with a statue of Chewbacca. I mean, Chewie's got it going on, but it's just the statue. On a more serious note, I've always been one to not judge people for their interests and hobbies, but that's a little intense. Uh, so funny when Sheldon walked away and then went to Leonard and was like, they have a sculpture down there. Oh my god, Sheldon. Glad that he was able to change Leonard's perspective in the end, got him to retroactively enjoy watching Sheldon get tased, flopping around. That was a cute bit of bonding there at the end of the episode. And then the whole ping pong TARDIS story was kind of hilarious. Bernadette's insistence on getting rid of the TARDIS despite Howard's love for it was kind of sad, but everybody squaring off against each other in ping pong is great. And more proof that being smart in one area doesn't mean you're smart in another area, because Amy didn't even think to leave one side of the table up to play against it. Turns out she's fantastic at serving, but horrible at anything else in the game. Interesting that Raj is apparently pretty good as well. I'm trying to remember what other athletic feats he's tried, because the show has made fun of how unathletic everybody is. But yeah, he sank that bottle in the garbage can back when he was worried about the space probe. He helped launch Gears earlier, and his wrestling match with Howard was more hilarious than anything else. He didn't have the hand-eye coordination or the reaction time to even touch any of the balls that Amy served. Pretty wild. And yeah, physical comedy is pretty easy to pull off when characters play sports. It was very fun seeing Amy swing wildly or just the both of them completely still because they couldn't react to anything. But yeah, everybody started throwing the games when Bernadette kept promising them the TARDIS. First Raj, then Amy. Bernadette sold it as a way for Amy to get Sheldon into her bedroom and damn, it's a good thing Bernie makes pharmaceuticals and doesn't sell them because she might be able to give Penny a run for her money. Genius selling point. And yeah, Amy bought it, hook, line, and sinker, and Sheldon winds up enjoying it a little too much and just wants to play doctor and not in the sexy way either. Amy looks so disappointed, but at least Sheldon's having fun. All right, with our weekly question, number four is what would constitute a perfect day for you? Well, I'm single at the time of this recording, but some of my best days in the past have been spent with either a romantic partner or with friends, so a perfect day probably involves both, even if I'll probably need to recharge socially the next day. Uh, playing video games together, maybe watch a movie or some Bluey, uh, that show's too good. Interacting with animals in some capacity would be great as well, I hardly get to do that. And definitely get some good food, give me some like Malaysian noodle soup curry or something. Haven't had that in a while actually. And then this is the part that requires a romantic partner. TARDIS time, oh yeah. But yeah, I've forgotten to ask you guys to leave your comments below about what your answers to are to these questions, so let me know what your perfect day would be. But yeah, really entertaining episode. Hope you enjoyed that reaction. Full reactions can be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, and I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends.